this particular case, this is meant to be what we call a pulmonary artery smooth muscle cell. So if you think about this, pulmonary hypertension is a problem with blood pressure being too high, specifically within the lungs. And the pulmonary artery smooth muscle cells are the ones that constrict and then make the blood pressure get too high. The idea is, is that these channels actually set the tone. These channels are giving the signal by based on the electrical property, telling the cell based on the amount of oxygen we think is around, there's not much oxygen. You should basically relax because your lungs need to take in more oxygen. We need to get more blood flowing. And so if the cells think there's low oxygen, by this mechanism, the potassium channels go in and they relax. The idea would be that in the cases with these mutations, the channels are not having potassium go through and the signal is going to the smooth muscle artery cells to say, clamp up. It's time, it's, there's actually a lot of oxygen around, we need to clamp up, we need to tighten up. It's not actually the case. So they're actually doing this incorrectly, but when they clamp up and tighten up like that, now all of a sudden the blood pressure goes up in the lungs. So it's as if this is, in a way, we think, an oxygen sensor for the pulmonary artery smooth muscle cells. It's as if you had a thermostat and it were telling you in the same way, instead of telling you the temperature, now this is kind of an oxygen stat, telling you what the oxygen levels are like. So if this is the case, then the question becomes, if, I have, if this channel is, for instance, closing up and it's not allowing the potassium to go through, do I have a way of opening the channel? Because that's in, in this particular case, these are all what we call loss of function mutations. So it's not working right, it's closing up. If I have a way of now opening that channel in some way or making more channels get to the cell surface to have the same effect, then perhaps I can trick the cell now into thinking that, for instance, there's not much oxygen in there, it's time to relax and now if it starts relaxing because we've tricked it you know we say you need more oxygen start relaxing boom now I can get more blood flowing into the lungs and for any patient with pulmonary hypertension the hope is okay now I've got a solution to the problem what we've shown in the in the laboratory in a petri dish is if I have any almost any one of these specific mutations I can use a drug to trick the channel into opening up I can get it to relax and this is now a leap because I can get the channel to work. I don't know if I can yet get the pulmonary artery to, to open up, but at least in the laboratory, I can get the channel to open up. So the question is gonna be next, if I don't have a mutation, if I just have the regular channel, can I get that channel to open? And then the step after that, now can I get the pulmonary artery to open? And the step after that, can I do it so it's not dangerous to the patient? No one really had a good grip on this as being the way that the arteries were actually regulating you know, how much to constrict and how much to relax. Just knowing that that's the mechanism, just from a scientific point of view, is exciting to a lot of people. But for me as a doctor, the most exciting thing is we know how to drug channels. I mean, that you know, there, when we think about pharmacologically how we can manipulate different types of systems, there are all types of systems that I just, to be honest, I don't have good ways of fixing channels we know how to fix. And so that's the hope, is like, keep your fingers crossed. We have lots of other drugs we've used for other types of channels. We know many of them are safe. We'll throw the kitchen sink at it in terms of the libraries and you know pray that something works and then that something doesn't have bad side effects too. But so anyway, so for us, this is, this is I mean, I know it's corny, but this is the biggest breakthrough the field, this particular field has had in like 10 years.